Okay, so today I thought we'd move on to how to graph a hyperbola on your cast, right? Your TI Inspire cast. Probably you have a CX, maybe not. It doesn't matter. Um, what I do want to make sure that you have is the 3.2 uh, operating system. No matter how old your cast is, if you have a cast, you can upgrade it to a 3.2. If you have really old software, then you have to kind of go from whatever you have to 2.1. And from but from 2.1 or higher, I think you can make this jump straight to 3.2. So if you have any problems, oh, here, let me give you this number also. First off, if you don't have it, you can get it at education.ti.com. And if you need a phone number, you can call them at 1-800-TI-CARES. I'd ask for Sharon. <laughs> I really would. That guy is awesome. There's another guy there named Washington who really knows his business also. If you call him, uh, I dare you to tell him that I told you to call them. But they're really, really good, and they know what they're doing, and they'll help you out with all this stuff. They'll help you all the way through it. So you can see in the last video, we did circles. In this video, I want to do hyperbolas. So let's see if we can't graph those. So all I did was go to the graphing function here. So here's your calculator. This is the screen of your calculator. So what we did was uh, from here, right, we went uh, control page down. And asked what we wanted to do. This is exactly what you see in your calculator. Add graphs. From add graphs, go back to this menu button right here, this lighting up in red and go to entry here and you can see on number two to the right hand side of that table over there it says equations and from equations you go to circle Ooh, we don't want circle we want a hyperbola. hyperbola so there it is equation hyperbola Why am I struggling right now? I can do this. Stay with me. Graphing entry. Equation. Hyperbola. I only want this one. Ah, that's what I did wrong. Okay, I got this figured out. I'm cool. I'm alright. Alright. Graph entry. I want an equation. I want a hyperbola. I want that one. Good lord, that was tough, wasn't it? So this is what's really important, is that all this stuff has to be filled in. So even though you may want zeros here, on some functions you can just not use them. On this one, you have got to put in a number for everything. So I'm just going to put it in like this. I have no idea what this is going to look like. And voila, there it is. So what you're going to want to do is practice a ton with this on your calculator. Uh, let's do one more together and then go to a textbook. Just find a textbook and just start typing them in. Type them in because you don't want to be figuring this out during the exam, right? You don't want to be figuring this out in front of your professor. Instead, you want your professor to walk over and, and he or she to say, uh, this thing is not a function you can't graph. And you go, no, 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 really, I can, I can graph this. So that's real cool, I, I think. So let's graph this one, graph a new one. I'm going to go to right from here, from graph, I went to menu. From menu, after I hit menu, I got this. I went to equation. Right? From here I went to hyperbola. I'm going to take this one at the bottom here. And I'm going to have this as minus 3, minus negative 2. And then have this as 4 and, I don't know, 3, I guess, degree. Right? Just screwing around with it, see what we get. And here we have it. And you can't maybe see the other part of it. There it is right there. You see it? If you're wondering how I did that, I just hit control, hit this control button, hit this. See that little blue hand right there? And it, it makes everything work just fine. So, hope this was really helpful. If you haven't already subscribed, please do.